There's the right way and the wrong way to use sundown trips like this. Some people just hit the light. You see how hard that light is? Even in this soft light. When I use these, very gentle. Use it just like a mask that you would feather in Photoshop. Just subtly bring this light in. Just subtle. See how soft that is? It's very difficult to get this kind of a wrap of really beautiful natural light in a studio setting with artificial lights. But being able to manipulate the actual sunlight with light modifiers and silks makes it all the more possible to get this gorgeous natural wrap and beautiful luminescence to the skin tones. Great. Front's great. Chest is great. We need to basically now paint and sculpt the light. So we're going to bring a black in to subtract light. Now, that's good. The head angle's great. Tummy flat. Great. Breast that's me. Angle your head this way a little bit. A little kick in the eyes. There you go. Now I think we've basically painted and sculpted with light. We've subtracted light back here. We've come in with a very strong key from this direction. A little bit of low fill to kick into the eyes. And we've sculpted her body and shaped her body by turning it to the camera. tickling, we use techniques, we use scenarios as spice to food, as salt to food. We don't douse it on, but we use it as needed when needed. This shot is with no sun bounce, no polarizer. I'm going to rotate the polarizer on, I'm going to make the sky darker, and then I'm going to have the sun bounce rotate on, and fill back in those shadows, and then we get a beautiful dark sky with that sun bounce reflecting in there. Now if I wanted, I could also have a sun swatter in there as well to soften the sunlight on there. Go ahead and look at me. That's great. Go ahead and tickle each other again. I love that. It's kind of got a playful look to it. <laughs> Great, guys. Excellent. Keep that up. Nice. That's great. <laughs>